Todd Miller with Fidario Strings, and this is Guitar 101, Lesson 3. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to name all the notes on the guitar. This is really important so that you can communicate with other musicians and have a better understanding of what's going on on your instrument. So the first thing you need to know is the name of the strings, and the names of the strings on the guitar are E, A, D, G, B, and E. And generally, we start with the low E string and end with the high E string. Most people, when they're talking about the names of the strings, they go in that order. Uh, with my younger students, I used to give them a little mnemonic device. Elephants always drink Gatorade before eating. That might help you remember it. You might think it's ridiculous. Either way, it'll probably help. So the next thing we need to know is what a half step and a whole step is. A half step is a distance of one fret on the guitar. Okay? So if I was playing any notes, so I'll play say maybe the third fret on my E string here. If I moved up one fret, that's a distance of a half step. I could do the same thing and move down a fret, and that's also a half step. We're just going either down or up a half step. Okay? The next thing is you need to know what a whole step is. And a whole step is a distance of two frets. So if I start on that same third fret and go up two frets, I get a distance of a whole step. Or if I go down two frets, distance of a whole step. These are your most basic intervals in music. An interval is a distance between two notes. So we have our half step, distance of one fret, and our whole step, a distance of two frets. The only place there's ever confusion about this is with the open strings. And the way I like to think about it is the nut is kind of our zero fret. So if I put my finger back here, um, that's kind of like a zero fret, and my finger would go here if I was playing an open string. So if I had to go up a half step from the open string, it would be here on the first fret. If I had to go up a half step, excuse me, if I had to go up a whole step from the open string, it would be the second fret. So if you think of that nut down here as the zero fret and your finger going back here, that can often help sometimes uh, with the confusion with the open strings. The next thing we need to know are the natural notes on the guitar or in music. And the natural notes are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. They're like the white keys on a piano. The musical alphabet starts over after G. So if you're on a G note, the next note will be A. So it just kind of repeats continuously over and over, A through G. Okay? These are called the natural notes. And all of the natural notes are separated by a whole step. Each one is two frets apart. There are two exceptions to this rule. So once you know the two exceptions, you can name all the notes on the guitar pretty easily. So you need to know what are called the natural half steps. And the natural half steps are B to C and E to F. So when I'm going from note to note, it's always going to be a whole step. From say C to D or D to E, there's a whole step between each of those. When I go from B to C or E to F, those are our natural half steps. Those notes are a half step apart. So now we're going to name the notes on the guitar. So we're just going to start with each open string, and we're going to climb up that string and name the notes. So the only catch here is you're going to start with, ever the, with whatever the letter name is for that string. So if we start on the lowest string, our E string, the next note after E is going to be F. Okay, so my E was down here. E to F was one of our natural half steps. So F is going to be the first fret. From there, we're going to go from F to G. F to G is a whole step, so we go up two frets and we get G. From there, the musical alphabet starts over at A, so we're going to go from G to A, which is also a whole step. After A comes B, A to B is another whole step. B to C is our next interval. B to C is one of our natural half steps. So we move a half step. After C comes D, C to D is a whole step. And then from D to E is also a whole step. So one of the great things about the guitar is that we have this 12th fret marker. And most guitars have double dots marking their 12th fret. 
Sometimes you'll have double dots at the seventh fret, and you'll see some variations um, throughout. But when we get to that twelfth fret, that's where the guitar starts over. We call that an octave. So if you get to the twelfth fret, and the note is not the same as the note you started on, you know you made a mistake, so you can kind of check your work. So if I do that again, we've got E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E, and 12th fret is the same as where I started on the E string. So all those notes are the natural notes on the E string. So that gets you started on the natural notes on the guitar. So go ahead and figure out all your natural notes on your other five strings. Climb up the A string and name the natural notes, the D, the G, the B, and the E. And I have my students on the high E string climb all the way up the fingerboard. Okay, So that's going to give you your natural notes on the guitar. The next thing you need to know is what a sharp or a flat is. A sharp is a little number sign. That's the symbol for a sharp. You might see a note G sharp. And so that means to raise the note one half step. So if I play my G, let's find that G again, E, F, G, G sharp is going to be one half step above the G. Okay? A flat lowers the note a half step. The symbol for a flat is a little B. For example, G flat. Okay? So if I look for G flat, I'm going to take the G and I'm going to lower it one half step, and that gives me G flat. Okay? So if you think about this, you might have figured out that there's going to be two names for some of these notes. For example, this is a G, and we just did G flat. Okay? And the note below it here is an F. So if I raise the F, F sharp, that is the same note as G flat. So we just have two names for that note, and it just depends on the situation. Sometimes one's more appropriate than others, but it's not really important right now. F sharp and G flat are the exact same note. You can think of the note as F raised or G lowered. F sharp or G flat. We call that an enharmonic. Two names for the same notes. So, take some time, make sure you know all the notes on the guitar. Later on, it's really going to be important you know your E and A strings really well because we're going to use those a lot for building some new concepts later. So, work hard, go practice, and enjoy the journey of playing guitar. Thanks a lot. Okay.